All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me on That's Right. It's Topper Tuesday. What we're going to be talking about on this Topper Tuesday, this little guy, this little tank right here, really reminds me of those old Cardo tanks we used to use back in the day. This is the Aspire Salido. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but I'm going to say Salido. Aspire Salido. It's a sub-ohm tank with just a whole mess of airflow. It's got some quirks, including a weird flavor that I can't seem to get rid of. But in order to get to know this tank just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we always do. Quick, short, up, closey time. You know how this works. <clears throat> All right, Yeehaw, what we have here is the Aspire Salito tank. This is a three and a half mil sub ohm style tank, top fill capabilities. It's a little bit different than some other sub ohm tanks. It certainly looks a little different than some other sub ohm tanks. Here's the top fill right here. You just unscrew that and you have this huge, huge opening right here to just bleh, dump your juice in there. Now this tank comes all the way apart, just pops off via O-ring right there. There's your glass right there. Now these are your coil heads. Now these look a lot different than the standard coil heads you see out there now. These actually look a lot more like the old style cardomizers that we used to use in tanks. Nice big juice flow slots throughout the coil head. You're not gonna be able to see this very well on camera, but there is a vertical coil running up the center of this, and the coil actually goes a little bit farther than these juice flow channels will go. The coil starts at about here and goes down to the base. And so there's kind of this area up here uh, where juice might not be getting. Big old airflow holes down there in the bottom. In fact, this tank has a whole F ton of airflow. I find myself closing off the airflow on the base about halfway when I'm using it. Now this airflow doesn't lock into place or anything. It kind of just spins, but I've never really had a problem with it coming out of place or being away from where I want it to be. So let's fill this up. I'm gonna plug the coil head back into the base. I'm gonna drip just a couple drips of juice, kind of bad, one, two, three, four, bad, you know, just down the middle, just so it doesn't uh, burn, so we get that juice where it needs to be. Now we put the tank on, super easy, just held on by an o-ring and then we're going to fill up the rest of the tank and this is super easy to do with a plastic dripper bottle it's super easy to do with a glass dripper bottle you got plenty of room right here to just bleh, dump your juice in and you can really fill this tank all the way to the brim with this fill it with juice screw this down back on keep it vertical screw this down back on uh, uh, uh. nice and snug in there now we have a full aspire salito tank let's get back out to normal view let's vape this little guy so yeah the salito is easy to take apart put together clean the coil heads are big you just screw it into the base you pop on the tank you go bleh, you fill up your juice it's super easy there's no juice flow control you can just pop this top off you'll see some bubbles happen but it doesn't ever really flood your entire coils with juice or anything like that you can open this up and close it and fill it up kind of whenever you want to big juice flow holes right there big juice flow channels to get to those coils now i'm using a 60 percent vg juice in here which seems to be working a lot lot better previously i was using some epiclouds juice in here which is 70 percent vg and it was having a little bit of a hard time keeping up. I feel like really thick VG juices don't do well in this Aspire Salido tank. It's only when I switched, I started using the Dynamite Fuse, which is a 60% VG. Now I'm not getting any sort of like dry or burnt hits. Whereas when I was using a higher VG juice, I was kind of getting, I was having some trouble, you know, keeping up with the wicking. Loads of airflow. If nothing else, this tank has loads of airflow. Like I said, I find myself closing the airflow off about halfway. When it's fully open, it's just a monster. It's got 
so much airflow. This is the 0.2 ohm coil, which is actually reading at 0.23, so it's pretty accurate. I have it set to 76 watts here on the cuboid. It's giving me 4.1 volts. In fact, I feel like this could handle a bit more. Let's, let's turn it up. Let's live on the wild side. All the way up to 103 watts. That's okay, it's only 4.8 volts, but I have a feeling this tank is going to be able to keep up with that wattage. No issues, no issues at all. So one thing that I've noticed, and this isn't the big thing, but it's just one thing that I've noticed, is that when your juice gets low in this tank, when it gets down to where those sort of juice inlet holes are, you have a higher tendency of getting some dry hits. Your coils go up past there, okay? Your coils go up past the little juice inlet channel. So if your little juice inlet channel's here and your coil goes up way past it, then bah, maybe the juice when it gets down low, it's going to have a really hard time getting all the way up to the top there. That's just something I've noticed. I tend to have the, I have the tendency, what? I have the tendency to keep this tank full all the time. I've never been able to vape it completely dry like I can with a lot of other tanks and I just I want to keep it full because I feel like when it gets lower, I have the tendency, I have the more I have a higher chance, sorry, can I talk today? I have a higher chance of getting some like burnt or dry hits. Now, the second thing about this tank, and this is what's really bothering me. It's got like this slight rubber bandy type flavor that I cannot ever get to go away. I put my first coil head in there and I filled it up with some Epiclouds Cardamator Crush. It's a juice I've been vaping for literally years and I know exactly what it should taste like. It tasted like Cardamator Crush with like a little bit of rubber band. And I'm like, well, maybe this, maybe this coil head just has a little bit of a break in time. You know what I mean? Before that flavor kind of goes away and you get a more pure flavor of your juice. It never went away for the entire life of the coil head. A full three weeks, I had this Cardamator Crush rubber band flavor, and I would forget about it. I'd set it down, and then I'd look over, and I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna try that. Nope, oh that's right, it kind of tastes like rubber bands still. So, I plugged in the second coil head, filled it up with Dynamite Fuse. This is a delicious juice. It tastes like Dynamite Fuse with a slight hint of rubber band. The coil heads I've used in here, they have this weird funky taste that really never goes away, or at least in my vaping experience, I've never been able to get it to go away. Great performance though, it's a nice, thick, dense vapor. The vape feels very saturated, but there is this weird flavor that God damn it will just not go away. And I don't know if it's exclusive to the two coil heads I have, but the two coil heads I have both have this like weird, like acrid rubber bandy flavor that just hasn't gone away. So are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you're interested in the Aspire Solito? Not found, and I just don't like using it. They say the purpose of these rubber bands is not just to be matchy-matchy with your mod, but it's to keep the temperature down away from your mouth. So when you put it in your mouth and your lips kind of press up against this top cap, it's going to kind of, you know, keep that hotness. Hotness? Why can't I even speak today? It's gonna to keep that heat away from your mouth. I don't find that this tank gets hot enough to necessitate a weird rubber cap on top. Uh, that's just my experience. It's been fine. I've chain vaped it and it's never got hot to the point where I'm like, oh shit, I wish I had a, uh, an ugly rubber cap that would get condensation all underneath it to protect my delicate mouth from this hot evil Aspire tank. So yeah, that's that's all I really got. 22 millimeter diameter, four and a half mil capacity. It's got nice coil heads that perform really well. They just have that awkward rubber band taste and you can find one for around 20 bucks on various interweb sites. I'll post some links down in the description. So once again, if we're playing the Aliens game where aliens come and steal all of my stuff, would I seek out and buy the Aspire Salido sub-ohm tank? Meh, probably not. I would probably pass on it just because, eh, it's a good performer, but goddammit, that rubber band flavor, 
it just bothers me and it makes me not want to use this tank. But might just be me. I don't know. Is anybody else? Let me know in the comments below. If you have this Alito, do you get the rubber band flavor? Do you not get the rubber band flavor? Or did you once get the rubber band flavor, but then it went away? And how long did it take for it to go away? That These are the questions that need to be answered. I'm going to wrap this up before I get too rambly, but that's what I got for today. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.